hi guys and welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be using lash hair and um, color tail and wild braids and this is what the color actually looks like going ahead i'm going to divide this hair into four places and then i'll cut it After cutting, I'll go ahead and pull the end of the hair, pull it very well. The reason we are pulling is because we do not want the ends to be sharp. We want it looking like pencil, just like this. Moving on, I tie this yarn rope from one end to another end. It could be on a chair or on anything. Just go ahead and tie it from one end to another end next step we're going to take this size of hair and then we'll cross it over on the yarn that we tied around and then we'll lock it up and push it to meet others so you keep doing this until you are done with the braids extension so you take this size and then you cross it over pull it out and then you lock it that's what we're going to be doing until we are done okay now that i'm done this is what i have left and i'll be using this remaining one for the closure next step is the hot water process so this is how i soaked the hair in hot water one set after another when i finished i used a towel to dry it then i used my fingers to split it um, differently and i went in again with another set of hot water So this is the closure that I made with the remaining hair that I showed to you. I'm also going to soak it in hot water as well. But guys, don't skip this video because you don't even know when I'm going to show you how I made the closure. So just relax yourself and enjoy this video, please. Now that I'm done soaking all of the hair in hot water, I went ahead and I combed this. I started from the tips to comb this hair and then I went to the top, combed this hair very very well so you can detangle it because it tangled when I was soaking it in hot water. Moving ahead, I went in with my hand dryer to blow dry this hair. I made sure that I did the blow drying very well and it was dry and free from water. When I finished, I got my straightener. So you have to be careful at this point. That's the highest. Make sure we, you reduce it to probably the first heat because you don't want to mess up your hard work. If you use a very hot one, it will burn it. So reduce the heat, use the low heat, yes. And then as time goes, you can increase it when you've mastered the heat level. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll take section by section and I'll just straighten this hair. So this is what we're going to do to every part of this hair that we've made. Okay, guys, at this point, let me properly introduce myself to our first timers here. Hi, guys, and welcome back to our channel. If today is your first time here, my name is Vera, but feel free to call me V or anyone you want to call me a day for you. If you have not still hit that subscribe button to be part of this family, I beg you and I encourage you to please hit that subscribe button and be part of us. I promise you, you will love every bit of it. And to all my beautiful people who already know who I am and who keeps coming 
coming back to support your girl i love you so much god bless you keep on watching and please enjoy this video okay after a long intro this is what this hair turned out to be guys look at how beautiful this hair is wow woo, look at how silky our bone straight has turned out next step is the wigging process so i i had already summoned this closure on the mannequin but then i'm gonna show you how i made this closure later on and then i'll show you how i also attach it to the wig cap so going ahead i made a line with this marker i couldn't find the white one because i made this video around 2 a.m this is blue color marker so i'm basically outlining where i want to sew the hairs into so that's where the starting point is going to be moving on i'm going to sew the hair all through to around this hair net before i can now come back and show you guys how i made the closure be patient with your girl guys be patient baby i'm coming okay guys i forgot to mention to you how many bundles i got i got six bundles and then the closure but if you want to get more bundles you have to reduce the size of the hair extension when you are attaching it to the yarn that we made okay so if you realize the first one that i attached to the hair net i jumped the back like four inches before i started sewing it so the reason i did that was because i wanted this hair to be enough for us so i kept skipping like two one inch two inch so that the hair will be enough okay guys when i finished sewing the hair bandage to the wig cap i put the closure down and i'm detangling it with a comb comb it very well to detangle it before i can now show you how i made the closure and then we'll start straightening this hair again next step i'm going to be using this hair net this net that i got i got it from a frontal hair that i made i just cut it off from a frontal going ahead i'll place it in the middle of the mannequin and then i'll use the pins to secure it to hold it down to the mannequin before we can now start working on it so guys at this point i'll just keep quiet so that you watch and learn and then i'll only talk when it's necessary
guys if you are looking to start a business because the world is getting difficult by the day especially in ghana if you live in ghana you realize that things are way expensive and very difficult you can actually learn these things and you start doing them and start selling them because when i finished with this and i posted this on my status i got a lot of people they didn't even know they thought it was a bone street that like an original bone street hair a lot of them were scared to ask me how much some were like i know this hair is too expensive let me walk and pass until i told them how much it was and what i made with it they were like wow this is really beautiful i got a lot of people who wanted so much of it some people bought a lot to send to their family and their loved ones in the u.s so you can do this at a low cost and then you sell by the time you know it you are making money you're making money so the reason we are posting this here for you is just so you can learn learn a skill and then you make money out of it okay don't just watch and go watch and learn and do it and invest in yourself thank you and please if you have still not liked this video go ahead and do so so after sewing that part we are now going to do a little ventilation ventilation is extremely very difficult but i'm gonna show you the easiest way so you have to pick a little of the hair strands like i can't count i don't count because this is not proper ventilation put it into the ventilating nether this is not the smallest one this is a bit big and then you pull it out and then you lock it so i'm gonna do this on a straight row a straight line when i'm done doing it on a straight line then I can now start filling in the the back. I fill in the back. I don't know if you get what I'm saying. Just take a little bit of the hair, pull it out. It's just like doing the crochet and then you lock it. So this is how you're going to do it. But you have to do it on a straight line. Don't split it. Do it on a straight line because this is the simplest way to get a closure done. If you feel you can't really get this done on a straight line, go ahead and use a chalk or a marker to outline where you want to get it done on before you start so you don't get a crooked line. okay guys we are almost done with our straight line we'll go ahead and flip this hair over to the other part and then we'll start sewing we'll start filling in this part this was the part i was talking about fill it in very well so that when we flip it back to its normal position it's going to be all clean and nice Hmm, 
so at this point you still haven't liked this video and you still haven't subscribed to my channel you just want to come here and learn and then you go that's not fair can you please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and just subscribe that's if you still haven't subscribed to this channel please guys help my ministry okay as i also help yours <laughs> okay guys i'm done with this part of the closure so i went ahead and i did the other part of the closure off camera and i'm coming back to show you how beautiful our closure turned out look at this <laughs> did you ever know that a closure can be this easy and quick so beautiful now i have given you a reason to subscribe to my channel and to like this video then go ahead and do it moving on i'm gonna be using this hair net i i got it with a closure it came with a closure net in front you can see i cut it off because it was too short i got a different net and i made the closure that i already taught you how to do so i'll go ahead and then i'll place this closure on the hair net i'll place the beginning of the closure and where the wig cap began and then i'll use the pins to hold it down before I can now start sewing it okay guys when i finished sewing the closure i put it down and then i started straightening it please don't forget you have to do this on a low heat when you master the heat that you can work with then you can increase it please so you don't ruin all of your hard work after straightening this hair all over again look at our bone straight hair i was super amazed in fact at this point <laughs> i was so proud of myself look at how silky how beautiful look at the perfection of this hair 
like wow tell me why someone won't think this is a real bone straight hair so beautiful look at the back silky and beautiful ah okay it's now time for us to get our blunt cut so i measured it and i cut a little below the head of the mannequin so that it will get to where my shoulder is so this is a shoulder length blunt cut at this point you have to be very careful so you don't make the lines crooked just be very careful and have a stable and a steady hand whilst you are cutting okay guys so when i finished trimming i went in with this adult hair dye in dark brown and then i applied it at the top to give it this ambre effect when i finished i thought i was gonna use a sponge to probably um clean up the top so that it doesn't stain but when i finished i realized that it didn't stain and then i went ahead i used my blow drying um, hand dryer to blow dry it and then it got dried there was no stain it dyed this hair nicely and it gave it that beautiful ambre effect so go ahead and use it and also do yours In as much as making this wig cap is super simple, if you are not a patient person, if you are someone who doesn't have patience, you can't do this hair. It requires your whole time and attention to do it so you don't ruin your hard work. So when doing it, I'll advise that you have patience, take your time and do it so you get the best result out of it. Trust me, this hair was really enjoyable and very simple. I enjoyed every bit of making this hair for you guys and someone bought it like i told you and they also made and uh, place others for more <laughs> If at this point you still haven't liked this video and you still haven't subscribed to my channel, come on baby, support your girl's ministry now. Didn't I do well? And please let me know what you think about this hair. Look at this baby. This is luxury bone straight blunt cut. This is beautiful. Please let me know what you think about this hair in the comment section down below. Like this video, comment, share this video, share this video. And let me know what you think. Did I do well? Did I not do well? Are you going to try it out? Won't you try it out? I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much. Take good care of yourself. Till next time. Bye.